Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Roof Guru. Thank you for watching. So, this is the last blog in this series of three. Uh, the first two were about my iMac Pro that had died a very early death. It was only a few months old and it stopped working one Saturday morning. You will notice I have an iMac Pro behind me. It is not my iMac Pro, it is a brand new iMac Pro. So, let me walk everyone through the process for those who are not have not been following along. About uh, four weeks or so ago, my new iMac Pro would not power on. I took it to Micro Center to get it repaired. Uh, really against my better judgment, I really should have taken it at the Apple Store. But nevertheless, I took it to Micro Center. They said the first step was to buy a new power supply. That did not cause the computer to power on. The next step was to buy a new logic board that did not cause the computer to turn it on so the next step was to buy a new power supply the second power supply that allowed the computer to turn on but they could not get the new logic board tied to what the tech called was a serial number um, ultimately they couldn't get the system configured properly to allow it to boot so after two and a half weeks going back and forth with them about this, they finally agreed to just take it to the Apple store and see if the Apple technician could get it to work. The Micro Center tech volunteered on his time to take the computer over because they wanted me to come in, box up the computer, and take it over to the Apple store, which I kind of objected a little bit to. Um, so he was very gracious and he took it over. Spent two and a half hours with the genius uh, they could not get the computer to power on uh, properly and configure properly. Uh, so at that point, the Apple tech suggested that we replace the power supply, the logic board, and both internal hard drives. Now, I did a little bit of Googling because uh, for this particular video, I was hoping I would get to make it someday where <laughs> the computer was fixed and I could talk about it. I was going to calculate how much time and energy was put into fixing this computer, um, ignoring my personal time and aggravation, just the raw amount of time that the computer was on the bench and the parts that we burned through to get it to work properly. And so I'm going to proceed forward uh, in terms of costing as if uh, the computer was not replaced but completely fixed. And then we'll compare and contrast that to a brand new computer, which is what you have behind you. So uh, I don't know what a power supply costs. I'm going to estimate it costs $100 or $200. Um, so they replaced it twice. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to round that up and say that's $500. Uh, the logic board, I googled around. They are around $2,000. Um, depending on where you looked, it turns out that they're very hard to come by. They're usually only available through refurbishes. Um, I'm pretty sure Apple is intentionally keeping those logic boards uh, under tight wraps. Nevertheless... So we're up to about $2,500. Uh, if we had replaced the power supply again, as the Apple uh, tech recommended, then that would push us up to about $2,700. Uh, if we had replaced the motherboard again at another $2,000, that would be $4,700. Um, and replacing the hard drives, there are two of them, one terabyte hard drives in RAID configuration. My guesstimate is around $1,000 for those hard drives, uh, depending on the quality and where you get them. So we are now at $5,700. Uh, and two and a half weeks, which is roughly about 100 hours worth of labor, um, assuming a reasonable hourly rate for the gentleman who was working on it, um, I don't know what he makes. I'm going to guess he's probably between $20, $25, maybe $30 an hour. If we say it's $20, that's another $2,000. So now we are in the um, almost $8,000 range for fixing this computer if we had followed it to its logical conclusion. Uh, subtracting the second motherboard, the second power supply, and the hard drive still brings us in right around the cost of a new computer. When you factor in the labor, it well pushes it over the cost of a new computer. So ultimately, I do have to give props to Apple for doing the right thing. I especially want to thank Tiffany for being so helpful and kind. Um, I called Apple's uh, service desk a number of times. They finally escalated the problem uh, to Tiffany. Uh, Tiffany was very clear uh, on the phone initially that, I w that she would be the last tech that I would speak to. I kind of thought that that was rude right off the bat, um, implying that... Uh, uh, 
I don't, know, I don't ever need to speak to anyone again. Um, but her point was, is she's the last human being in the loop in terms of escalation that would be willing to accept my phone call. <laughs> um, I think that's interesting that there's only, uh, you know, the first line phone answering people and then the next line of escalation people and there's no senior manager that you can speak to or, uh, you know, something like this. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, she did, who, did her due diligence. Um, she actually, ended, uh, when I gave her the full story, um, she called Micro Center. She actually called the Apple Store. Uh, she took all the notes. She initially uh, told me before she took all the notes that it was going to be if if she could get approval to replace it. If big if they don't normally do that, um, then it would be five to eight business days uh, to receive the approval plus the shipping time if the Apple Store didn't have it. So uh, this was a Wednesday or a Thursday, I believe. So it would have been essentially another two full weeks without the computer. Um, and I, I, I got a little, just a little persnickety with her about the um, two weeks of waiting for an approval, right? Uh, and she said, well, that's just our internal process. We have to follow. There's multiple levels of approval to replace a computer. I told her the story. She did her due diligence. She called me back um, within an hour, as a matter of fact. Um, so again, really impressed with um, the way she handled it. I really am. Uh, and... She basically said that, uh, you know, they did the math and I would have been without the computer at this point for 26 days um, if they wait for all the approvals. And so she was going to send it forward and work out all the details with the Apple Store and, and try and get me a replacement. And so about uh, 30 minutes later, I got a phone call from her again. Uh, she said that the replacement was good to go, that I would get an email from the Apple Store and uh, the unit was ready to pick up tomorrow. Uh, and it turns out it was. I got an email, got a text message actually, both. Uh, picked it up at the store, not a lot of hassle. They were kind enough to give me a receipt that said $499, $4999 uh, plus, and then $4999 minus, balance zero. <laughs> I think that's kind of funny that uh, and they emailed it to me too, so I kind of have it for posterity's sake. Um, They're just clear that they just dropped five grand on me and my point is, is I dropped more than five grand on them. Uh, if you factor in my personal time and you know what I make an hour, um, we would be well over that five to five thousand dollar mark for a new computer. So at the end of the day, I do want to thank Tiffany. I do want to thank uh, Shanks at uh, Micro Center. He uh, was not able to get the computer repaired, but he was very gracious and very helpful um, and very very apologetic. Uh, and I actually met his manager when I ironically had to go pick up the box for my old computer because Apple would not replace, would not give me the new computer without the old box. Um, they literally told me if I showed up without a box that they would have to take the new computer out of the box so that they could ship my old computer back to Apple in the new box. And um, it's interesting because they made Shanks take the box home with them when he dropped it off because they refused to store the box. Um, so in this case, the Apple store, the retail store actually caused me to have to drive to Micro Center uh, before I went to the Apple store. Um, that's okay. It's a little annoying, um, but I was more interested in just getting a new computer and getting back online. So here we are back online. Um, fortunately, my time machine backup appears to work. Um, as near as I can tell, I have all my data. There's some files I think that might be missing, um, that didn't get backed up before it died. Uh, not entirely sure. There's a gap in one of the videos that I was editing um, uh, that I had not yet imported the video into the timeline. And so there's a gap in the raw video versus what I think I should have. But nevertheless, back online. So that's my story. Um, you know, I've been looking at the kind of statistics on my channel. Um, not too many people are watching these vlogs, and that's understandable. I did get a couple comments on them, but I did feel that I wanted to follow up with everyone who has been watching them and also just to, to Apple to say, you know, it was excruciatingly painful um, and almost mind-numbing to deal with some of your support people. But at the end of the day, you did the right thing. Um, and, or should I say Tiffany <laughs> did the right thing. Um, and so thank you, Tiffany. And thank you, Apple, to the extent that that matters. Um, but they at least sort of kept one consumer uh, happy. Um, I'm a little disappointed in a $5,000 computer going belly up um, and them not being more um, responsive and expeditious to fixing it, but it's what it is. So there you have it. You know, uh, thank you if you've made it this far. Um, we're just going to wrap this up. Uh, 
If you liked the video, thumbs up. If you don't, appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, really important these days. Um, follow me on the social media. I have been posting a lot on Instagram while I haven't been uh, releasing these videos. Uh, some good pictures. I believe I posted the pictures on an upcoming project, which is a live edge walnut end table that I made. Um, I have a couple uh, videos coming up on some uh, some fusion work, uh, Fusion 360, as well as a cutting board from a uh, uh, fantastic human being who recently departed for a new gig. Um, I will miss him dearly. Um, he was a centering function for me, and uh, we'll have to adjust in, in real life. But nevertheless, here we are. Thank you, everyone, for getting this far, and don't forget to be inspired.